Hey guys, Mrs. G here again, and I'm going to show you how to make your own custom icons. So right now on your screen, you see my canvas homeroom, um, and I made all these icons from scratch. It's a lot easier than you think it's going to be. Um, so I'm going to try and make this video super quick and get right to the point. All right, so the first way I learned how to do it was literally just using Google Images. So since I am a PE teacher, I am going to stick with the sports theme, okay? So let's say I was on Google Images and I typed in basketball. Now you want to make sure you put PNG at the end. Um, that just kind of says that it's going to be like a transparent image, so you can overlap it on top of like a banner or anything um, or an image behind it and it won't show that you know ugly like squared white part now the trick with this and the PNG even though there's these like squares here in the background that doesn't necessarily mean that it's transparent the way you can tell these images are transparent is if you click on it or excuse me hover over it and see how you can see the white border here if we click on it and then over here on the side it shows the checkered that means it's transparent if it just shows the white border then that means it is not so let's click on this Ooh, awesome so this basketball is transparent I'll show you one more time keep your eye over here on this side so as you see um, where my mouse is at the frame around it is white but when I click on it it turns into a checkered that means it's transparent and I believe this one next to it is transparent as well so you can kind of pick then between these two which one you like the best. Um, I will go with this one. And so what I'm going to do now is literally just copy image. And then I'm going to go up to my Google Drawing. Oh, I had one saved already. But let's go ahead and paste this new one I found. Awesome. Um, and what you want to do, you know, just let it fit screen. Oops. Or we can just leave it like that for now. Make sure it's centered and you'll find that little cross in between. Now, from here, you know, you can insert a, a shape or anything, you know, to make a little banner go across. Like, say this is your daily video tab to click on. Um, if not, what I like to do is add my Bitmoji. Now, um, at the top over here in the corner, I have my Bitmoji sh shortcut, which I highly suggest you get to set up. Um, it's just super easy, super simple. You don't have to go to your app on your phone and transfer, but it's right here. So let's say I want to make this um, my Monday button. I'll type in Monday, and it already kind of generates stuff. So let's say I like this one. Um, I think I can copy paste. Let me see if I remember. Oh, yep. So I had to do the shortcut, which is Control V for paste, right? Now um, I'll just center this however I want. Remember when the arrows pop up, that means that image is center. Um, but if you don't like that, you want to move it around a little bit, you totally can. Make it bigger, smaller, whatever you want to look on the basketball. Um, and then from there, you know, I can title it uh, Monday uh, Icon. So that is saved just like that. Um, and then from here, you can do File, Download. And then, very, very important, please save it as a PNG, all right? Saving image as PNG, um, it is saving. And now I'm gonna go back to my canvas, gonna go to edit. Now this pulls up the um, site that I have been editing. So let's say I wanna go down, I already have my buttons there, but um, for the sake of it, I'll add it to here. So you're gonna go to embed image, click that. Now when it brings you here, you're gonna click on canvas my files and you're gonna have to upload it since um, you don't have it here yet so this is all the files I've uploaded already to canvas um, so like if you're doing multiple pages you pull it from there um, and then sorry I have a lot um, right here is the one I just did so I'll open that and it's added right there scroll down and click update now that is super huge so you can just make it smaller till it fits in line with everything. Now remember this is the Google Drawing way that I learned. Um, there's definitely an easier way to do this now that I figured out, but I'll go through that next because I know some people you know are comfortable with certain things. Um, 
like Google and stuff. So, anyways, uh, I'll say maybe that's about it. You can uh, kind of guess, play it by eye, you know. Now, these have cool um, links hooked up to, so they're clickable. The way you do that, if you don't know already, up here, you can link a page and you just copy the URL from the top from your pages to put it there or whatever external link you want attached. So like this one, I'll click my link and I have my link here. Um, and then you can always remove link with that too. Um, so we have our image in, hit save, and we will see how it's saved. Now, since I edited the size, you can go back. Yeah, see how it's a little off. You have to go back. Oh, I think I know what I did. Because the rest of my buttons, I believe, are center. So I'll go back in. Maybe just hit the center align. See if that helps. So I'll click that. Let's scroll all the way down. Yep, fix the problem. And look, now you have that button there. Woohoo! All right, second way I'm going to show you is through a platform called Canva. So we'll use that instead of Google Drawings. Um, it's something that I like to use. I believe right now it's free for teachers, so I definitely recommend it. Um, okay, so we're at that, that same basketball. Now, unfortunately for Canva, we cannot just copy and paste it. So we're going to have to actually save the image. And again, I have a lot saved. Um, let's just go to, I have a Bitmoji shortcut. Let's just do that. So we'll save it. I'll put basket two. I'll save it. I'm going to go over to my Canva page. Now, the great thing with Canva is when you create something, they already have preset designs. So say I wanted to do my banner across, kind of how this is right here. I'll do like YouTube channel art or if I think it's Facebook cover. Yeah, because it'll automatically set it to that size. So when you edit it in Canvas, you won't have to adjust the size of anything. It's already set. So if I want to do a clicking icon, I believe they have like a logo button somewhere. Maybe I passed it. Oh, top. So logo because we're doing my basketball, right? Now from here, this is all this stuff. They have so much free stuff you can use. But let's say I really liked my basketball one. I'm going to do upload. I'm going to do upload an image. I'll go to my saved it in Bitmoji under basketball 2. There it is. Open. It's going to load up right here. Now, almost done. But you can see all the other things I've loaded up. Um, yeah, just waiting. <laughs> Oops. All right, so there it is. And with Canva, you want to go all the way flush because it's going to be already that size. Now, the cool thing with this is you can actually put in like a banner or something. So um, I believe they have banners here. So if I just wanted to say like Monday, I can fit this, you know, however big I want that to look. Find that cross that's dead center. Add some cool text. They have so many different like sizes and headings and stuff you can play with. Um, but let's say I want to do my Bitmoji. Um, actually, don't know if I can copy paste this one too. Uh, so let's do... Tuesday for the sake of it. Oops. Let's say I like this one. That one's kind of cute. I don't know if I can copy it, so let me see. Probably not because, yeah. No. So, don't fret. You just need to save it. So, save image. And this is why I have my Bitmoji folder. I save Bitmoji, save. So cool, that's saved. And then same way you uploaded the basketball, you can go to upload image. There it is. Oh, I should have named it, but oh well. Cool, cool. It's going to load up. I think I can, oh cool, I can edit it already. Same thing, edit it where you want it to be. Woohoo, center. Well, the image is a little small. I'm going to get a little bit bigger. Center, but I think I want to pull it up. I think that looks better. Cool, and let's give it a name. So I'll put basket. Um, and then you're gonna hit download. Very, very important here. Please make sure it's on PNG, and then click transparent because that goes back to remember the borders I was talking about at the beginning of the video. It'll make that go away when you actually post it somewhere. So that hit that download button. A lot of downloading. I need to go through my folder and clear it out. Awesome. So that's saved. You can go ahead and go back again to your editing page. 
Let's go down to where I wanted it, right here. Embed, remember? Canvas. Which one do I click on? Files, that's right. Door the Explorer moment, sorry. <laughs> um, upload. Oh, and this is going to be in your Downloads folder, actually. And it should be at the very top. There you go. Open. And voila, it's right there. Same thing, update. And, ooh, got to format that. Smaller, smaller, same way as before. Awesome, almost. All right, and I remember I put it centered. I think I want it a little bit. Anyways, uh, okay, and then let's save it. Could add a link if I wanted to. There it is. Super cute. Um, I can mess with formatting if I want these a little closer, but I noticed too, like when I click home page, it doesn't look as big. A little more condensed, closer together. Looks great. All right, so I've showed you how to make your buttons and how to put it in a table um, that was already made, and I just realized I should probably show you how to um, create the table and everything from the beginning. So I'm going to try and copy. Sorry, let me scroll up. I'm going to try and copy this table I have already. So wherever you want to go in your page, just set your... Um, on there and what you're going to do to enter a table so the buttons are nice and you know next to each other um i'm going to go to table right and you're going to select however many you want across below um so i'm going to copy that one so i'm going to go across now here you're going to insert the image you made already right um which we did embed image and if it's a new image that you haven't uploaded to canvas at all yet no matter what class or course you're in um, you'll have to re-upload it, but if it's something that you've already uploaded, so like our basketball, um, and this is one I've done before, you can just select it and then just scroll down and hit update. Pops right on in there. Um, and then let's do another one. Right, same thing, canvas, my files. Let's just do the next one, which would have been this one for me. Update, cool. Um, oh, my link, okay. So the tedious part about this is going back and forth, getting the link. Um, I guess you could have an extra tab open so you could just click over and copy the link. But let's go ahead and save this. So you want to save your progress, right? I'm going to go to view all pages and I'm just going to pick a page to link it to. So let's say my Friday materials. Oh, sorry. At the very top of your browser, copy that link over, go back to your home page, edit your home page. Awesome, so we're back here, um, and what you want to do, go to that Monday icon, click it, link URL, paste that URL, and I'm using the shortcuts, control, paste, or you can do, you know, your right click, um, and yeah, that should be there. Now, second thing, if you want your images to go across nice and clear, like you don't want to show the table, you can just click on the table, or I believe you just click, yeah, table, Drop down arrow, table, or excuse me, you need to go to table properties. Table properties, go to advanced. I believe I would select dashed. And I'm just going to change the color to white, um, which I'm sure maybe there's a different way to do this, but again, this is how I figured it out. Um, and save. And since my background's white, table's white, you don't see it. Um, and then save your progress. And you always want to just make sure your links work. So click. On your link, bada boom, took you to your Monday page. Um, so yeah, that is kind of the nitty gritty of how I made my own custom buttons and stuff. Um, if if you don't want to take from Google Images like I did, I'll go back to Canva. Canva has so many um, options. You know, like you can type in. Yep, honestly, might have had a basketball here, and I could have just avoided everything altogether. Oh, what do you know? They totally do. So look at we're both learning from this vi <laughs> this video right now. Um, anyway, so there you go, right? You can type in images, anything you want. You can make your own images here. Um, again, I fell in love with Canva to use her canvas. <laughs> so uh, play play around with it. Super cool, easy to use. Um, I'll probably do a banner video next, which your banner, you know, is this thing across. Kind of show you how I did all that. Ooh, and I will also do a video on 
how to make images like this so that they're not transparent, how to make them transparent. So if you're in love with an image and you can't find the transparent of it from Google and Canva doesn't have it, I will show you how to make that transparent in my next video. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you next time.